scrap paper. Um, but you just need paper and a sharp pencil or a pen. If you don't have a pencil, you can use a pen too. You just got to be able to write with it. Thank you, Ms. Madison. You got all kinds of stuff. Look at all that. I like the thumbs up. Very good. I still couldn't find my pencil soft and all. I'm sorry, Aiden. It's okay though. I lose my pencil sharpeners all the time. In fact, I got so sick of losing them that I, you know, the wall mounted ones that you have in school, I bought one for me. So I have one of those just in my room now. I lose my pencil sharpeners all the time. So I get it. Like, I haven't lost any of my pencil sharpeners when I got it. They just vanished out of nowhere. Like, I searched my entire room. They just grew legs and walked off, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes stuff gets lost like that. Hey, do you guys just want to get started? And if someone comes in, they can start where you guys are at? That's okay. That works for me. Okay. Are you girls ready to go ahead and go? Got a thumbs up. Aiden, you good? I'm good. Okay, great. All right. So we're going to start off with some questions. So I want to ask you all first, when I say the word balance, what do you think of first? Like what is the first thing that comes into your brain? Even. Even. That's good. I like that answer. Aiden, what about you? Um, when you say balance, I think like two things, like a balance, or like balance without falling over and like balance the color palette. Okay. Uh, I, I like that answer. Can you elaborate on what you mean by balancing the color palette? That's that's really interesting. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you're thinking there? Like if you use like black, then use other dark colors. All right, I if love it. Using, I love it. If you're I love using, it. Like, you're already thinking like an artist. What'd you say, Aiden? I'm so sorry. If you're using like pink or purple, use lighter colors. Right, good. Okay, so you're thinking of balance in terms of color. So you're like, you're already taking balance and applying it to art. So that is phenomenal. And Lanaya, when you said even, that is exactly what we're going to talk about. We're getting ready to go right into that. So awesome job. You guys are right on it. Okay, so we've got even and we've got like balancing a color palette. So when, uh, if I were to sit down, we're going to talk about art for a little bit. If I were to sit down and go, I think I'm going to make an art piece today. Um, let's see if, if you can tell me this might be, might be hard for you to remember, but let's, let's see what, what is it called when you pick how you want to arrange things in your drawing? Can anybody remember what that is? I know I've talked to you all about it before. Hmm. 
No? Okay. It's called composition. So composition is how the artist arranges things in their drawing. Um, so going back to balance, whenever you arrange things, you want it to have a balance. Now, usually when we think of balance, we think that, um, well, you know, Aiden even said that you want it to be balanced. And Lanaya, you said even, which means you want it to be the same on both sides. But balance in art is a little bit different because you can actually balance it so that it's not even. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. Um, and we're gonna talk, we're gonna go over just a couple more words. I know I'm making you remember a lot of words, but just two more words. Um, so I want you to look at this. I want you to tell me, do you think that this has an even balance or an uneven balance? I think kind of both. Kind of both? Okay. Aiden, it's what about balanced. you? It's balanced because if you slice it in half, if you Good. slice Aiden. it in half, then it's, and it's the same, the exact same, then it's balanced. Good. So, Aiden, you are, you are correct. This is balanced. Lanaya, you're also technically correct um, because I am a human person and not a machine. I can't draw something perfectly balanced. So you're right. It is a little bit of both, uh, but that's because of me. Uh, so it was supposed to be even on both sides, but clearly my hands didn't cooperate. Um, but good. You said it's the same on both sides. Now you'll notice I have a blue line down the center. Can anybody tell me what you would call that line? The line of what? Starts with an S. Center. If you can call it a center. It's not called the line of center, but it is the center line. So that's good. It is at the center of the paper. Aiden, do you have any guesses? Um, I loaned it, but I don't remember the name of it. That's okay. That's okay. It's kind of on like the tip of your tongue. That can happen mm -hmm. sometimes. It's been a bit. It's called the line of symmetry. So, um, I was, if I were I to was fold this close to that, close to that. If I fold this in half, crease it, and then unfold it along my crease line, it's even on both sides, which means this has an even balance. So it's perfectly even on both sides. Okay. Now, what about? This one. Is this one evenly balanced? That's a no? Okay. That's a and no because um it's a no because it's not the exact same. One has a tongue and one has a hand. And if you fold that, it won't be the exact same. It'll be different. Very good. Lanaya, you were gonna say something. You started talking. She took it. She, 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 you, she didn't take it. She didn't take it. You both thought the same thing because great minds think alike. Okay, so you're right. This is uneven. It's not symmetrical. Any idea what we call not symmetrical? There's a word for it. Aiden, your brain's loading. I see that. All right. Lanaya, you have a guess? No? Okay. It's all right. It's symmetrical. Um, so the A in front of symmetrical means not. So not symmetrical, asymmetrical. There's a lot of other ways to create balance in art. Like Aiden brought up, you can do it using color. But today, we're going to talk about balance using symmetry. Um, so we've got that out of the way. We're going to just really quickly um, pop, real pop question. Uh, can you tell me what a composition is? Do you remember? Aiden, you've got a sad face on it. I'm guessing that means you don't remember? I don't remember. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes you got to hear more than once before it sticks. Lanaya, do you remember? Okay. So a composition is how you arrange things in a drawing or like a painting or any kind of artwork. All right. 
So a composition is how you arrange what you're drawing. So we're gonna make our own composition. So this is where I'm gonna need you to get your paper and you're gonna need to get your pencil or whatever you're gonna use. So paper, pencil. I need a thumbs up or a yes or a good to go whenever you've got that ready, okay? Lanaya's got a thumbs up. Aiden, you good? I'm good, but after this, I'm going to have to make a new emoji face for my um, animal. Okay, I look forward to seeing it on the next Zoom call. That sounds awesome. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you instructions, but they're not gonna be very clear. Um, on, and we're gonna be drawing an animal. It doesn't have to be a real animal. You can make one up, but I'm just gonna give you instructions. So like, Animals? I'm gonna say, sorry, Aiden? Animals. Yeah, animals. I knew you'd be excited about this one. So we're gonna be drawing animals and I'm gonna give you some kind of vague, so vague, you know, means kind of unclear. It's not strictly set instructions on how to do something. Um, and you're gonna do what you think you need to do. So, welcome back, Lanaya. So, if I say the animal that you're drawing is going to have a round body, you're just going to draw whatever you think that means. There are no wrong answers here. So, you're going to give your animal a round body, and I'm going to do that right now. And you can't show me till it's done, even if you're really excited about it. You got to wait. When you've got your body, just give me a thumbs up. I'm doing this too, girls. <laughs> I have a question. Um, can I repeat what we're supposed to do? Yes, Aiden, what's your question real quick, just in case those two are the same thing? Um, my question is, can I do a rough draft as for my animal? And then when I'm completely done with adding them, can I make it, can I um, then add the lines? Yeah, so actually, if we make this and, and you like it, like if you draw it in pencil and you really like it and you want to finish it after the Zoom call, you're more than welcome to do that and, and show that to me. But for what we're going to do, I'm going to have to be able to see whatever you make on the Zoom call because we're going to talk about them, okay? Okay, okay great. And uh, Lanaya, to answer your question, so basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give you instructions on how to draw an animal, but I'm not gonna be very specific. So the instruction that I just gave is that the animal you're drawing has a round body. So uh, you can interpret that however you want to. If round means circle, if round means oval, doesn't matter, but whatever you, know, you think your animal has a round body, you're gonna draw what you see that animal like looking like. Does that make sense? You're basically making up an animal that fits my description. Okay, great. Just give me a thumbs up when you're done with that, okay? And then we'll go on. I am. Aiden, I'm gonna assume when your little buffer thing goes off, that's your thumbs up, right? That means you're done? Yeah. Okay. Okay, great, I got two thumbs up. All right, so now uh, your next instruction is, your animal has really long legs. Really long legs. 
So I'm not telling you how many, I'm not telling you what shape, I'm just telling you that they are long. I got a thumbs up from Lanaya. Aiden, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, you ready to move on or do you need more time? We can move on. Okay, all right. Now your animal also has uh, really short arms. So long legs, short arms. All right, thumbs up from Lanaya. Aiden, how are we doing? Ready to move on? Oh, no, 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 cancel that? Okay, I'll wait a little bit. Okay, good on the nice and Aiden, you ready to move on? Yeah. Okay, great. Miss Maddie, so, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I moved to spell something, but I don't know how to spell it. Okay, what are you trying to spell? Progress. Progress? I'm, yeah. I'm actually gonna have to write that down so that I know how to spell it, one second. Aiden, I can put it in the chat real quick for you. Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> All right, Aiden, are you still good to move on though? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next step, uh, your animal has a square head. So square shaped head. No neck. I didn't say anything about a neck. You can give them a neck if you want you to the head. I just told you they had a square head. That's up to you.
Yes, you can go ahead and draw the face and I'll let you do whatever you want for the face. So square head, whatever you want for the face. Just give me a thumbs up when you're done. All right, Lanaya, you're good. Aiden, you ready to move on or do you need a little bit? Um, you're, you're good? Yeah. Okay, you cut it out. I couldn't hear the last bit. Okay, now for the last thing, um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna let you get a little bit crazy with it. Um, you're gonna add whatever else you want to your animal, but you can only add two things. Um, so for example, my two things are going to be like, I want my animal to have ears and I want them to have a tail. So I'm going to give them ears and a tail. Um, but you could pick something different if you want your animal to have like a, two tails. You could do two tails. It's totally up to you. But you just can add two more things to your animal, okay? And then give me a thumbs up when you're done. Art in progress. Oh, that's so cute, Aiden. I love that. Thanks. I made it just now. Yeah, that's what I figured. That looks awesome. That is super, super cool. Wait, just wait a second. We're gonna wait for everybody to be done and then everybody's gonna show theirs at the same time because we're gonna have a discussion about them, okay? Remember, I need a thumbs up when you're done. And then Aiden, I guess you're just going to change your picture when you're finished. Aiden, does that mean you're done? You changed your picture from Art in Progress. Yes. Okay. Lanaya, are you good? Ready to go? Or you need me to wait a minute?
need a thumbs up if you're good, if, you know, a finger up, like, wait, you're good? Okay, awesome. All right, so we're gonna take our drawings and we're gonna show them to each other. But before we do that, I, I, I want you to know that we're gonna set a rule right now. We're not gonna, we're not gonna judge anybody on artistic ability, okay? Everybody's name rule is unique no matter what. You can, you can color it, but I want us to talk about them first, okay? You can color it after if you want to, but we're gonna talk about them first. Okay, so we're gonna hold them up. I can't really see one that well. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love them. Aiden, did you tape two pieces of paper together? <laughs> Those look so good. That is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. It's adorable. Okay. So, out of all of the drawings that we have, uh, I know none of them are completely symmetrical or completely balanced, but which one do you think has the most balance to it? I'm gonna ask for everybody. So Mine. Aiden, whose do you think has the most balance to it? Mine. Yours? Okay, yeah. I could see that. I could see that. Katie, whose do you think has the most balance to it? Lanaya, I didn't get to see yours. What does yours look like? Lanaya, can you show us one more time? I love it. I like that one. I think that one has some good symmetry. Symmetry? Okay, so that has good yeah. balance. Lanaya, yeah. who do you think has the most balance? Katie? You said Katie, yeah? Katie? Yes? Miss Katie, okay. I thought so, but I'm not a very good lip reader, so I wasn't really sure. Okay, so, um, let's see, we're gonna go back around the circle. So Aiden, why do you think that yours has the most uh, balance or symmetry? I don't know why it just looks symmetry. You said it just looks symmetry? From what I remember, the way you drew your legs, they, if I were to fold them in half at the center point of that, they would be pretty similar on both sides. What about you, Miss Katie? Why'd you pick who you picked? I think from uh, what I saw with like the midsection, like the, the circular part, I thought it was drawn very evenly and it seemed like it kind of, it wasn't too, like the head wasn't too high above it and the legs weren't too low below it. You know what I mean? Kind of, I feel like it kind of yeah. fit like in a, like a really like they're like equal distance kind of from what I saw. So I thought that looked kind of nice. Okay. And Lanaya, I, Aiden, can you show yours one more time? Lanaya didn't get to see it. Saw it? Okay. And Lanaya, why'd you pick Miss Katie? Why do you think Miss Katie's has the most symmetry? Because it looked the most even to me. Okay. It looks the most even to you. I can see it with the body and with the, the legs and the, the, I want to say tail, but I, I think the tail and the head are put in a similar spot. So though they're not like the exact same, if you folded them over, they would be on the same spot. Very good. Okay. Whose do you think is the most asymmetrical? So remember that means not symmetrical. So the opposite of what we just talked about. Yours. Yours. Aiden says mine. Miss Madison's. Mine. Okay. Katie, what do Ms. you Ash say? Miss Miss Ashley, did you do one? I didn't get to do one, but I'm going to do it. And guess what? I was 
I'll do it and uh, have Miss Madison send it to you all, okay? Um, for me, I think that Aiden's was the most asymmetrical because uh, the way that she did the legs were really, really long. So I think the legs are, it's weird. I think the legs are symmetrical, then joining it with the rest of it, then it makes it asymmetrical. So it's like, it's like Very both. good. So to give you a visual of what Miss Katie's trying to say is that if you were to fold Aiden's drawing, you know, hamburger style, it might be more symmetrical. But if you folded it like hot dog style, it wouldn't be very symmetrical at all. Yeah? Is that right? Yep, because the legs would just be super, super long. Okay, great. Um, now, once again, why do we think that? I'm going to start with Lanaya. Why did you pick the person you picked for asymmetrical? Because it was the most unique, and it wasn't okay. even. Okay, so it wasn't even. That's good. So, you know, if it's folded, it's not going to be even either way. Good. Aiden, why did you pick who you picked? Which one? For asymmetrical. Um, I picked yours because the legs are different. And if you folded it hot dog style. It wouldn't be sim wouldn't be symmetrical? It wouldn't wouldn't it be, be similar? Symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. So we did it. We made our creatures and we talked about it. Um, I just have one more question for you all before we go. So I want you to think really, really hard. Why would it be important for some people who make art to think about symmetry? Remember, architects, people that make buildings make art, people that make pottery make art, across all kinds of art. Why do you think symmetry is important in some art? No wrong answers. I just want to, I just want your thoughts. She's got to tell me what you're thinking. Can you repeat that question, mm -hmm. Ms. Madison? So in, in any form of art, so you can pick pottery, you can pick when people have to make buildings, you could pick drawing like we did in any kind of art. Why do you think it's important for some things to be symmetrical? Why do you think artists have to think about that? Well, I think with like sculptures or pottery is important because so it can stand up. First of all, like sculpture, so it can stand up. Um, certain way, if it's not even, it's going to tip over. Um, mm -hmm. Let's say if somebody does like a base, of pot, like a pottery base or bow. Let's say if you want to use that, I don't know what people use it for, maybe flowers or cereal. Maybe you want to eat out of it. It's not going to work as well. The others, I'm not sure. Okay. So for art like pottery, it's important because if, if it were lopsided, it may not serve its purpose. It would, you wouldn't be able to use it for anything. Okay. What about more decorative artwork? Why do you think some artists choose to use symmetry in more decorative artwork? I have an idea. What's your idea? I think that it is um, like inherently pleasing to the eye if it's symmetrical because everything will be even so nothing like stands out like doesn't stand out and and like you know when something doesn't look right it doesn't stand out that way like it you look at it because it looks nice because everything's in its place and it's all nice and even and then good so symmetry yeah. can make something look nice it can make yeah. something look pleasing to the eye um why do you think that an artist may choose to use asymmetry? Now they won't do this for things like sculptures where you're gonna drink or eat out of because you wouldn't be able to use them. But for things like drawings, a lot of art drawings were actually really asymmetrical. Why do you think that, that might be important? I'll give you a hint. You can color it if you want to. You're more than welcome to color it in. In fact, I'm gonna color mine in and post a picture of it for you all. So I encourage you to do the same if you want to color it in. But why do you think asymmetry might be something that an artist would choose to do? 
it's for a similar, it's pretty similar to what Miss Katie said. Aiden, you're, you are the person here who I know absolutely yeah. adores doing art and you made your own pictures. So you've, you've got to have something up there. So why do you think an artist may choose to draw something asymmetrically, so not the same on both sides or not balanced? Why would you choose to draw something like that? Because um, if it's even and um, if it's even, but you want it to make it like a, one of those, one of those um, all folks that are like, crazy or something um good if it's good. even then it's gonna look odd good so sometimes if it's even it can look odd all right we're gonna do a quick wrap up because i'm pretty sure the device i'm using is about to die uh, so girls uh, i hope you had fun making your little monsters i'm gonna color mine in and then send that out to you all so you can see it and i want to see you color yours so i better get colored pictures leandra lanaya i know you're visiting me tomorrow Thanks. I better see those colored pictures. And Aiden, you're Friday. Oh, that's cute. Aiden, you're Friday. So I better see a colored picture. You're actually, you said you're going to finish yours. So I better see a colored I wanna, picture. I want to show you something. Uh, okay. Um, we you want to know, you, you want to know why, I why my screen was all in progress? Why? Well, it's not finished yet. It's until about the, we've got to see it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. I love the little flower. <gasps> oh, that's a, that is so sweet, Aiden. I love that. All right. Ah. Bye, people. Can you hear them talking? I'll be making more. See videos. you guys. Bye. I'll be making more of my Say bye. Wave at him. Bye.